Last Dance helped a lot of us get through the pandemic. Uh, but not everybody was a fan, uh, especially some of MJ's teammates. So according to the NBL, uh, Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, and Luke Longley are going on a no bull tour to tell their side of the Last Dance story and what it was like playing for the Bulls in the 90s. And we can't see it in this photo, but Horace Grant actually had a pair of J's on. Uh, they made the announcement. <laughs> Were they J's? <laughs> or they? I don't know, it looked like he got them from finish line. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> It may have been L's. Them shits was nasty. Team Jordans. <laughs> Not even team. Them Team Jordans. He, he, he can't get the regular one. No. He's forbidden. Yeah. He put his address in. This shit red shit, flag. Oh, wearing his shoes at the same time is crazy. Uh, yeah. What do y'all think about uh, that Bulls trio going in to kind of question the narrative of how they were presented oh, in the last man, dance? Man, man. You mean presented like uh, NBA champions? That was part of it. Okay. So they're presented as NBA champions is basically where they're going in there saying how great it was, you know, um, with their talent and skill, Art, you know, and they won some championships because that's what uh, the media's have us valuing, right? Championships is what our legacy <laughs> is, right? So I hope they go in there and talk about how great it was to be pushed by the greatest man of all time. <coughs> and made them some legitimate champions for them to even go on stage to talk about the three championships that they had because we all know they wouldn't have had one without it. So it should be all love, we will hope. Because if they say anything negative about winning the championship, it will kind of like hurt the legacy of just ring culture because you got three men up there that got, what, 12 rings between the three of them, talking how bad it was to win it. Ooh, no. I mean, I will. Uh, Perhaps. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I hear some one negative thing about ring culture, I'm going to tell you right now, having 300 million seems a lot better again. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, because 12 rings up there complaining. <laughs> I know who ain't complaining. 300 million. Yeah. <laughs> 300 million ain't complaining, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Scotty Pippen got slightly less than that uh, during his time with the Bulls. So, I mean, hey, all I'm saying is, when they do that, who would you rather be, James Harden or Scotty Pippen? I want to see what Scotty Pippen got to say. So, man. Right? Man. Yeah, because that's sad. I just, that's they, sad just, the they, they got to be careful. They got to be careful with their words while I'm watching. That's sad the way they going out. Come on, man. That's sad. Damn shame what happened to Flip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. <laughs> Them three looking just like that. But what's the narrative? What was the narrative that they push? Well, he said something like that bullshit documentary, yeah. right? I know. He called it bullshit. So, I, so that means it got to be negative because he's, saying, he's oh. saying it was bullshit. So it's something that he want to talk about that wasn't told. That's what I'm saying. How does he want to, like, how are they portrayed inside of the, the document besides champions? Something like that, girl. Uh -huh. I don't think it was wholly positive. I believe Horace Grant was called a snitch and was going to the media, giving inside info. Giving inside info on what? Winning championships? Uh, on ring culture. <laughs> All I'm saying is... <laughs> on ring culture. All I'm trying to say, this is ring culture, y'all. Yeah. This is yeah. one of the best dynasties the world yeah. Have, yeah. has ever known. Yeah. Right? So that's all I want. Okay, I just be careful, motherfuckers out there. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't let me get in questioning rings again. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> they ain't happy with the rings. It's just a lot. It's a lot over there. And I just want to see how media treats it, though. Because they're going to have to stand tall on the, what they push out, the, push out to the rest of us. Because, you know, you're, you're talking about people's legacies and, and you know, sacri sacrifices and stuff like that. And this right here can just jeopardize everything that people talk about. Well, you know the tour don't start in America. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck what it starts. We're going to get what they say. No, for, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, for sure. I'm just saying. It's starting this weekend, so, you know, not sure. But that should let you know how far it might, how long it might last. If it's starting overseas first. They like the other temptations. <laughs> Kenny, are, are you rolling with, with them going on tour to set the record straight from their viewpoint? Uh, uh, what? I'm, nah, man, this is, this ain't cool, man. If it ain't positive, man, I, I don't, because it's not. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm trying to put some, <laughs> put a spin on this shit, and you can't, because. 
Damn, the whole. <laughs> It's just sad how it's Damn. coming out, huh? No, no, no. It's everything. Like, even, read, even when you read, like, the chat, right? Like, Gil didn't watch The Last Dance. Oh, no, I did. I watched it just like you guys, right? But what I don't want to hear is when you push championships and we use championships as this thing right. that we all must yep. get. Right. We know what it takes to get one, some of us, but we know it's going to take... Breaking players from bad habits is going to take talking. It's going to some chastising. I don't want to hear you motherfuckers bitch about what someone said or did to you. It, it led to a ring. And yeah, one of you got right. six. One yeah, of you got right. three. One of you got three. Yeah. Yeah. What you went through to get it, bitch, I don't want to hear nothing yeah. about it. Yeah. Because you're calling us. You're calling us losers. Yeah. And we don't know how to win. And you guys are win, yeah. complaining about winning yeah. sends, a, sends yeah. a bad message. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, that's... Like, it better be all, hey, you know, we had the breakfast club. We didn't like the way he talked to us, but he made us champions. Bitch, that's all I want to hear. If I don't hear nothing more than that, God damn it, I don't respect none of you then. Yeah. I don't respect none of you. That's right? He said he was the top. We heard what he said. Yeah. No matter how he depicted, we know the result. The result is six rings, three rings, three, three rings. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Right? And what he, you went yeah. through to get it, he called you a bitch. He said your mama. I, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I wouldn't be complaining. I haven't had it. I thought, it was, I thought you were supposed to be happy to make it. So this is my thing, right? Maybe so so it's three of them up there, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they reached out to the other guys on the team. <laughs> they fell in love. And, they, and, them, and they was to your point. Like, man, shit, I ain't got shit to say about Mike. Mm -hmm. Shit, my man, I, hey, I got three. I got two. I got five. I got. <laughs> man, uh -huh. shit, me. Like, you you don't think Dennis Rodman like attention? <laughs> like, they should they call Dennis. Dennis, like, man, shit. <laughs> that shit. Yeah, I'm a three time champ. Yeah, oh, whatever I am, yeah. fucking shit. So, yeah. no, nah, I just, yeah they, they, yeah, they reached out and I'm pretty sure they. Respectfully declined the invitation to come to Australia on your tour <laughs> and beyond. So MJ found out about it. He released a statement. Uh, he said the following: "Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis." He did? No. Oh, I'm man, about to say that. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. He should. I would have been like, "Damn, that's some crazy. That's the funniest shit." That's Mike the ever said. 